Hey guys, Mr. BXRP here and welcome back. Today is December 15th of 2020. I have been out, as most of you know, I've been uh, I've been under the weather with the um, with the very common illness out in the world. And uh, today marks my, you know, 10 day period where I'm allowed to go back into the world and, and be a productive member of society. I will tell you guys, um, <clears throat> I have never had the flu, so I can't compare it to the flu, um, but I'll tell you it sucked and continues to suck. I literally, and my wife also, we can't even smell vinegar. That's how bad we've lost our sense of smell and taste. I mean, literally cannot smell vinegar. So nothing tastes good. You don't even want to eat. Um, I feel better today after my 10 days, but the truth is... I'm just exhausted. I mean, I'm absolutely exhausted. So I'm here in my office. I've got to get some paperwork done today. This video is going to be short, but I wanted to give you guys an update on my health because you keep asking me, and I appreciate that out on Twitter and in the comment section of my videos. Um, I am uh, almost back into the swing of thing, guys, but uh, but it seems, seems like it's a little bit of a slow journey. My youngest daughter is, is back in action. My wife is behind me, um, and, and she probably took it the hardest out of anyone in my family. So she's still at home uh, trying to recover. But uh, I hope, hope everyone's out there out there is healthy. And uh, if you haven't gotten it by now, try not to get it. Um, and if you have, you know what I'm talking about. So, all right, XRP is at $0.47. Cents. It's been... Uh, it's been you know, it hasn't been exciting to watch the, the price trickle down over the last week. Um, but uh, from what I understand from all the uh, from all the experts is hopefully they're right, is that the bottom's in. Um, and I think the bottom was right around 46 cents. So I'm hoping they're right because I'd like it to not go down any further if it doesn't have to. Um, but, but what's interesting is Bitcoin is almost at 19,400. So it looks like Bitcoin's on its next leg up, which is important. Anybody that understands how the altcoin market works knows we need Bitcoin to do its thing first. So I like seeing that. I like seeing Bitcoin's looking strong. So let's look at the market as a total. <clears throat> and um, I can hardly hear myself talk. Actually, my so so if I sound funny, I apologize. All right, so the market's at 569 billion. Bitcoin is showing at 19,374. Ethereum's at 586. Changing my glasses as we speak. I need some air conditioning for the eyes. Ah, now I can see. XRP is just over 47 cents. Oh, and look at Tether. Look at that. It's holding right at one dollar. Congratulations to Tether uh, for holding at a dollar. And on the seven day, it looks like Bitcoin's up 2.53% and Bitcoin Cash is up 8%. Those are the winners in the top 10. Um, and Polkadot. Polkadot's in the top 10 now. Look at that. Very interesting stuff. Okay, so let's let's move right into this. Just saw this posted from the blockchain backer on Twitter. Done. Fourth accumulation of XRP complete. Current XRP price of 0.469 cents. So I think that was his bottom purchase on his latest rundown. And um, I think he's now calling for it to go to $2. I'm not saying it's going to, but I think that's what he's calling for. Is uh, That's the next move up. That's the next leg up is 2 bucks. So, man, I would love to see $2 XRP. I can't even remember the last time I saw that. Some of you have never seen it, but uh, it will be uh, it'll be a welcome sight for sure by many. Uh, this was posted from Michael at VAL 5 link. Bank of France set to conduct eight experiments to test potential of digital currencies. So France is in the uh, experimental mode of, of, um, of digital currency, which is a good sign and um, uh, something that we want to see more and more of from a lot of other people. The IMF posted this the other day. I saw this and it says just as many... So, so essentially, here's what it says. It says, just as many crosses borders, so so too must our regulatory efforts. International cooperation can facilitate cross-border payments and address spillovers. So essentially, they're saying 800 million people depend on remittances, paying an average fee of 7%. Let that soak in for a second, guys. 7%. And I don't know if you remember, but a couple years ago, Michael Arrington um, from Arrington, I think it's Arrington Capital, he sent $55 million for like 30 cents using XRP. So this 7 cents, 7% 7 is ridiculous and nobody should have to spend that much. And uh, and they know we have a solution. They know XRP is the solution. It's just a matter of time. All right, so speaking of Michael Arrington, I don't know if you guys saw this on Twitter the other day, but you know, 
one of the neat things about being in this space is we tend to have access to people we'd never have access to in our lives before. And, uh, and we tend to learn things and see things that we would never know anything about. So, so I'm really just sharing this because I just find it interesting as hell, not because I'm trying to, you know, make Michael's uh, uh, misfortune look good or look bad or whatever. It's just, it's just incredible that we can see this kind of stuff. So Michael posted this the other day. He said, I passed on the first round of DoorDash, $50,000 into that round apparently worth $80 million now. That'll keep me humble, okay? So I thought that was an amazing tweet. Well, it got more interesting. There was a founder named Kim Taylor, and she is CEO of Cluster. Um, and apparently, he might have passed on one of her <laughs> on one of her projects because she responds and says, "VCs posting their pass their pass emails to successful founders doesn't make us think you're humble." It's a reminder many have no idea what they're talking about. Onward Founders. So I don't even know if he knows her or not. Um, maybe they, maybe he did pass on one of her projects or maybe not. She just didn't like the idea that, that he was talking about passing on somebody's project. But uh, he said, I just saw this and I feel like a proper a-hole. I thought that was interesting. Um, and then uh, XRP, the standard productions, come in, comes in and says, what's even more embarrassing is the fact that you put 10 times that amount into XRP productions, which is hilarious. But uh, anyway, interesting stuff. Um, so $50,000 would have made him $80 million. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people, I have some friends that invest in VC projects um, here in Florida. And, uh, and, they, and they use different venture capitalist firms. And, and from what I understand, if one or two out of 10 become a success, that's a win. So you only have to win 10 or 20% of the time in order to make money in that market. But anyway, thought that was interesting. From XRP Crypto Wolf, Grayscale now holds 13 billion worth of Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and other cryptocurrencies. Wow, that is a ton. Absolutely amazing. That's a huge, huge amount. So this video I saw um, posted by the Digital Asset Investor, and it's Dan Moorhead from Pantera Capital, and he actually talks about XRP. Let me see if I got it here for you to listen to. Been that for a long time, man. Yeah, I think, you know, it's, it's easy to, to be kind of extremist on currencies, and, you know, some people think it's all one versus all another. Um, I think there's going to be a single digit number of very important blockchains in the long, long run. There won't be 2,000, but there won't be just one. Uh, so we are invested in Bitcoin, and ETH, and XRP. Um, yeah. And at various times, nice. we changed our views. And, and uh, we made a very strong call in our, I think it was March investor letter, that we want to go much longer Bitcoin relative to everything else. Bitcoin. Well, hear what he just said. He said yeah, and, and you know, he, he said they're invested in XRP. None of these big companies want to admit they're invested in XRP, and up to now they haven't. He's finally come out and spilled the beans, so it's nice to see somebody finally come out and admit they are invested in XRP, which is absolutely fantastic. So glad to hear it, and I think others will follow suit, especially after we get um, regulatory clarity, which last week, last week it was announced by um, by uh, um, by the OCC, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, um, um, Brian um Brooks, he said that within six to eight weeks, we're going to have, we should have clarity. So now it's five to seven weeks as far as I'm concerned. Every week we can knock off a week. Um, but hopefully once we get that, a lot of these other companies will come out of the closet and tell us that they're also invested in XRP. Um, this was a video I saw from, um, from iTrust Capital. And guys, listen, I'm going to tell you something about iTrust Capital. One of my greatest failures this year in my, in, or I could say since I've been invested in digital assets, is not getting more in my IRA. I opened up an IRA with iTrust Capital, and I wish I had more invested. Now, I can't play the music in this thing because it will get copyright uh, stricken. Top five reasons to start a crypto IRA in this video, and I'm going to read them to you. Tax benefits. IRA accounts can potentially save you millions on taxes. And let's see, portfolio di diversification. Crypto assets have shown to improve risk adjusted returns for portfolios, growth potential, the best performing investments in the last 10 years. And then there's easy management. You simply log in, trade anytime, no complex private keys to deal with. It's easy, guys, to trade and sell in there. Passive income in the future, investors will have staking and lending options for passive income. 
have questions, don't worry, we're here to help. Okay, so great people. If you are looking to open up one of these IRAs, I highly recommend you look into them. I have a uh, link in the description of this video. You get one free month if you use my link. If you have any questions, just call them directly. They're good people over there. They'll walk you through it. They'll help you. They're very, very helpful. I highly recommend them. Saw this video of this woodpecker, and um, you look at what he's doing with that beak. He's literally chiseling, I mean, as you would expect a woodpecker to do, right? Chisel a tree, but look at the chunks of that tree he's getting. I mean, it's like, it's amazing. It's one of the most amazing things in nature. Anyway, I want to share that with you guys. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not an accountant. I am, uh, I'm not quite yet 100%. Uh, and I'm not a crypto expert. These are my opinions only. Don't make any financial decisions based on anything I say. Hey, please like and subscribe, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I really wanted to get a video out today, let you guys know I'm doing okay and try to get back in the swing of things. So hopefully you'll see more from me this week and hopefully we'll have some more um, some more news. I'm going to jump over to XRP, see if we're increasing in price, 0.47. Three nine, and that's about where we're sitting right now. So, all right, well, we'll see how that works out. All right, so everyone, thanks for listening today. Hope you have a great day. See you all later. Bye bye.